What's going on guys? So today we're going to be installing this Yakima uh, bike rack onto my 2000 Mercury Sable. I purchased this used on Marketplace and it was actually brand new. The guy never used it. Uh, so huh, yeah, it's kind of, kind of a great find. Uh, these racks run new for $250. These bike, bike racks in general, I think are insanely expensive and I don't understand why they cost so much. But yeah, I got this one for 120 bucks. And then I went ahead and bought um, some lock cylinders. When you buy these things brand new, they don't come with any lock cylinders. You have to purchase that additionally. So again, just tons of cost associated with a roof mounted bike rack. It's kind of bananas. But yeah, let's go ahead and install this on our car. So one thing I just want to mention is that this is a front loading style bike rack where there's like two arms that come up and hug the front wheel. And uh, this is actually pretty ideal for people who don't want their frames scratched or anything like that. And I think that the max tire width you can have on this is three inches in width. So anyone with a crazy fat bike, uh, it's not gonna work. So yeah, let's get into installing this. So before I put this rack on the car, I'm gonna go ahead and install the lock cylinders. You have to first get the, uh, a little plug out so you just take one of their they call it a master key where you can pull the lock cylinders out this is the key that you have to use to install the cylinder you stick that in there it goes in one way and then you kind of hold the cylinder while you pull the master key out and then There we go. Next, we're gonna go ahead and do the bike lock. Now, it's kind of strange when I bought this, the gentleman told me they had a Thule key uh, cut for this lock cylinder, uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can use this master key to pull the cylinder. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's awesome. All right, well, out goes that one. Go ahead, install the master key into the cylinder. Go ahead and install the lock cylinder. Just hold the lock cylinder in while you pull the master key out. Now the lock cylinder is installed. So now we just have one key for both locks, i.e. the SKS or same key system. Thule systems are a bit weird. You actually have a key for each, for each lock, one for the bike lock, one for the rack lock, which I really didn't like. Uh, so that's one reason why I wanted to go with the Yakima system. So we'll go ahead and twist out this little, uh, I don't know, big nut, big wing nut to open up the jaw a bit so that we can get uh, the front part of the bike rack onto our front rail. All right, that's almost fully open now. Yeah. Now that we have the front slightly clamped on there, we're gonna go ahead and adjust our rear rail uh, forward to meet up with this point. So uh, most roof racks are pretty much the same. There's gonna be a little nut here, a nut on the other side, you loosen them up. That's with the flying tension onto the rails themselves. All right, that's good, it's moving for us. And then there's another nut right here. It's gonna open this bottom clamp for us. So just make sure that you're in the groove that fits your roof rack. Make sure the clamp's on the other side. And go ahead and tighten this up. So this back clamp, we're gonna have to rotate this big thumb screw until this T piece is in this direction. It's gonna be originally like this, but you need it to be like this so that this little jaw can fall out. So something else to know, this jaw is height adjustable to fit your roof rack. So you have it, right now we have it set in this position. We're gonna have to drop it down to this middle position and you even have a third position here. So you've got three points of adjustment for this bottom jaw. Let's go, go ahead and pull this out. Do that. I'll go ahead and slot it in the second slot. See how she fits now. Perfect. You can see here that we got the jaw to slip into place. Screw a bit. <coughs> so the jaw slips in. Then we go ahead. Now we try to rotate that little bottom piece to where we're here and go ahead and tighten this down. So the rack's all installed. 
there's a couple things that I want to go over. Uh, one, if you look at it from that end, the rack is not straight. It's actually the, the back end of this is pitched more inwards to the vehicle, uh, which I don't know if that's good or bad. I really can't think of as to why I want it that way. Personally, I would just want it straight, but I can't have it straight because the bow in the, in the front bar, there is a bow in the front bar causing it not to be straight. So uh, that's that. Uh, additionally, uh, just make sure that your rails are uh, lined up. So I measured from this point to this point, just my, minus 34 inches, whatever yours tends to be, just you know, make sure your rails left to right are, are, are centered. And then, uh, yeah, now we can uh, go ahead and flip open our rack. Push this down. We're going to go ahead and load our bicycle up. We also have to undo this back strap. Try to load the bike up without hitting anything above us. Do my best. the center of the wheel it's pretty badass <laughs> so I don't know how well you can see this but there are some uh, some bicycle tire sizes here so this is a 26er this is a 26 by two and a half two and a quarter inch tire so I have this set to 26 by two and a quarter to 2.4 um, just go ahead get the uh, fork adjustment lined up and then you go ahead and lock it in place and then essentially this, this shouldn't ever really move on you. You shouldn't really ever have to adjust this because once you come down here, and go ahead and spin on this red knob. This actually pulls the tire forward into that front brace. Spin this on tight, give her a good shake. A little bit more of a turn, another shake. We got our rear tire all nice and centered up with the strap. Go ahead, lock our bike rack to our car. That way we shouldn't be able to move this anymore. Yep, that's locked in. No thieves can take the rack, which is great. And we go ahead and pull our bike lock out of our little holster that Yakima has provided us. Swing it through here. We also have the other end. Lock the bike up. Go ahead and slip the lock in there. The key in here. Lock it up. She ain't going nowhere. Well, YouTube, I really hope that you enjoyed uh, watching me put this Yakima bike rack on my 2000 Mercury Sable. I hope it helps you out and gives you some advice as to what bike rack maybe you're looking at purchasing. Uh, overall, I think the installation was really nice. I think it was just more annoying to film while installing it. Um, but overall, I, I, I like the construction of it. I like that we can lock it to the vehicle and lock the bike to it. Uh, the only thing that I really just don't like is that the fact that I can't get the uh, rack perfectly straight. And that's, again, just because of the front rail being on a slight curve. So can't do anything about that. But again, I really like how this looks. I like how I really think it's going to perform very well because that's realistically the more important thing. And yeah, free up, a, free up some space in the, in the car so that I can put more camping gear in it or whatever I want to throw in there. People maybe even. <laughs> so as always, YouTube, I hope you found this video helpful, entertaining, and educational. And until next time, thanks and take care.